hello, I'm Professor Mark Fowler, and I'd like to take a few minutes to talk to you about my research area. Uh, I work in the area, the general area of digital signal processing, uh, and more particularly uh, the two areas of estimation theory and data compression. And in particular, I look at the areas that where those two areas intersect. Uh, so when you're doing an estimation, what that is about is uh, you've collected some signal data and embedded in that signal data, either intentionally or unintentionally, uh, is some information about some parameters. Uh, so for example, let's talk about um, one of the areas that I work in, which is middle location. Uh, you're intercepting a signal from some uh, emitter that you, you wish to locate where it is, uh, generally in a non-cooperative fashion. Uh, so the transmitter doesn't wish for you to locate where it is. Um, and so uh, you intercept that signal at a variety of different locations and embedded in those signals is information about where the emitter is um, based upon different time delays and frequency shifts and so forth. Um, so that's the estimation theory part. Once you intercept signals, you estimate something about the signal that would otherwise be unknown. Uh, the data compression part comes into play in the sense that when you've intercepted those signals with a variety of different receivers um, spread out over a wide uh, spatial region, you need to share that information between the various receivers. Uh, and that sharing is typically done over some sort of digital data link, and those data links have a constraint on how much bandwidth. And you'd also like to share that information very rapidly, so that constraint on bandwidth coupled with the constraint on time uh, means that you'd like to be able to reduce the amount of data that you have to send. Um, so that intersection of estimation theory with data compression is a, is a really interesting area to work in, and I've been working in that for, for quite some time. Uh, but a particular problem that I've been working on for quite a while, uh, and it's very relevant to a lot of other things, uh, is uh, data compression for, as I said, location of emitters. So I'll, I'll draw a little picture here. Um, and so suppose this is an emitter, uh, and by emitter I mean some sort of transmitter, um, and I usually look at uh, radio frequency signals, but it could also be an acoustic uh, source. And then scattered around it you have a bunch of receivers, we'll say R1, R2, R3, R4, and uh, so they need to intercept the signal that's transmitted by the emitter. Uh, and then they share data between themselves. So sharing the data between, say, those, that pair and this pair, they also share. So that's where the data compression comes in. Uh, and then once those two sensors share where they are, or uh, what data one has collected, at uh, this sensor where you now have both sets of signals available, you can then um, estimate the time difference between those two signals uh, and also the, the differential Doppler shift between those two signals. And you can do the same thing over here. And when you do that, what you get is a whole bunch of curves. Oh, that didn't show up so well. Uh, you get a whole bunch of curves that should all intersect at the emitter in, in the absence of any noise. But in the presence of noise, there's not a single uh, intersection. So you have to use statistical processing to figure out where, um, where that transmitter is. So that's been done for decades and decades and decades. So uh, you know, the basic theory behind that is not particularly interesting from a research point of view. But what is interesting from a research point of view is in the context of modern day processing, uh, modern day aircraft that are available for these receivers, uh, and uh, modern day transmitters, uh, there's a lot of interesting problems to be solved. Um, so for example, um, the transmitter could be some uh, radar that is transmitting a very complicated um, waveform and trying to make it difficult for you to do this location. So one of the things that's interesting is to look at modern emitters and try to understand uh, how they may be using their signal to combat what we're trying to do to locate, and then how do we combat that. Um, other things have to do with the fact that these sensors may be um, mounted on what are known as um, UAVs, unmanned aerial vehicles, 
And in, a, in an environment, there may be dozens and dozens of those. And so you may not want to use all, say, 24 or 30 of those UAVs that are available to you. Um, you may want to try to determine which ones would be optimal for this particular location task, which ones might be optimal for, use, uh, for locating some other transmitter. Um, so those are the kinds of things that I work on. Uh, the data compression for the sharing of information, uh, specifically designed for locating emitters. Um, and then the whole mechanization and optimization of the whole system from the point of view of what resources do you have, if you can move the sensors to where you want them to be for the next um, interception and location, where would you move them to? Um, and how do you share the data between all of these? How do you select which sensors to use? Um, so those are the things that I work on and I find it very interesting and I hope you find it interesting as well.